I can't help it. I can't help it. I just love singing. <laughs> That's because I am excited once again to be with you for our children's service. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm sure you agree. Yeah, yeah. And that's why how you should go when it's time for praise and worship. Lift up your hands. God loves it. Okay. Um, you know, express your love to God. Don't hold back. Don't hold back. He loves you. And that's why do we do this? Because God loves it. Because He deserves it. Because you know, we as His people are the ones that want to express our love to Him. That's why we do all of these things. That's that's why we, we, we praise God. That's why we worship. It's not just a Christian thing. It's because we love God, because He loves us, and because He deserves it. He's God, and there's none like Him. Okay? So, make sure you get ready for the Bible story. Listen to everything so that you can pay, at, you know, pay attention, so that you can do the quiz excellently. I will see you shortly. another awesome day in God's presence and today we are going to be singing about the greatness of God. Do you know we serve a God who is so big, he sits in the heavens and the earth is his footstool. Guess what? He holds every one of us in his hands. Let's go. Hey, put your hands together. He's got the whole world in his hands. He's got the whole world. In his hands, he's got the whole world. In his hands, he's got the whole world in his hands. Together, let's go. He's got the whole world. In his hands, he's got the whole world. In his hands, he's got the whole world. In his hands, he's got the whole world. Put your hands together as we sing it. He's got the whole world in his hands. He's got the whole wide world in his hands. He's got the whole world in his hands. He's got the whole world in his hands. I feel like dancing. Come on, let's go. Hey, 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 hey. Just enjoy the music. Sing with me, sing with me, how great is our God. I 
the lesson for the week. Please listen carefully. Hello guys, my name is Kayla and I'm going to be doing a memory verse. Second Kings 22 verse 1 to 2. Josiah was eight years old when he became king. He reigned in Jerusalem for 31 years. His mother was Jedida, the daughter of Ida, from Bo's cat. He did what was pleasing in the Lord's sight and followed the example of his ancestor David. He did not turn away from doing what was right. Amen. God's Masterpiece Josiah This is Josiah. Josiah became king of Israel when he was only eight years old. Yep! Now the country of Israel had a very long line of kings who did many bad things, including Josiah's father and grandfather. These kings did not follow after God, and they ignored his commandments and his law. But when Josiah became king, he did what God wanted him to and followed the example of King David. 18 years after Josiah became king, he sent one of his court secretary, Shaphan, to God's temple. Thank you. Many of the kings before Josiah did not take good care of God's house, so it was in need of repair. Hmm. Yeah. While they were in the temple, Hilkiah, the high priest, said to Shaphan, Hey! I have found the book of the law in the Lord's temple. So Shaphan took the scroll back to King Josiah and read it to him. <laughs> when Josiah heard what was in the book, he was greatly upset. Oh, no! Because the people of Israel were not doing the things that God asked him to do, and Josiah knew that God must be angry with Israel for not obeying his commandments. Josiah gathered together all the people of Israel to the temple and read the entire book of the covenant to them. That very day, Josiah and all the people promised that they would obey all of what God commanded with all their hearts and souls. We we promise too. Josiah went on to help Israel become a people fully committed to God. He tore down all the other temples and the idols that they had set up. Yeah. He got rid of all the people who were doing bad things all throughout Israel. And he did all that was commanded in God's book. Never before had there been a king like Josiah who turned to the Lord with all his heart and soul and strength, obeying all the laws of Moses. And there has never been a king like him since. Whoa, did you hear that? Did you hear that? I love this story because no one can say, oh, it was because he was an adult and he was a big person and that's why he obeyed God. This oh, Josiah became king when he was what? Mm, you better start getting your quiz right. <laughs> when he was eight years old. One, two, three, four, five, five, six, seven. Eight. What was I doing when I was eight? 
<laughs> now you have the opportunity to do great things like Josiah did. Do you know what he did? He stood for God in a time where even the adults were getting it wrong. So you see, you don't have to follow the, the crowd when they're doing the wrong things. You can stand for truth. You can stand for light. Man, this is mind-blowing. I just want you to picture being a king right now. Yes, being in charge of a, an entire kingdom at eight. And if you're eight years, just begin to think that way, that you in your time can stand for the Lord. You can know what God's word says. Remember when he got the, you know, he got his right hand man to go to the temple to find what the law says. So that means you can understand the scriptures. In fact, when Jesus was, was, you know, when he was about 12, he was in the temple and he was teaching, <laughs> he was teaching the men that, you know, they were supposed to know the law. So no excuses. I think that's what the major lesson for you, for me. In fact, I'm so old right now. <laughs> but you know what? You're right on time. Bang on time to get it right. No excuses. You like Josiah can rule and, and you know and reign in your time by establishing God's laws and God's principles. You too can make a difference in your world. You too, and I'm talking about you, 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 you. Yes, you can stand for truth. You can stand and be a light and shine. You're not too young to change the world for, for Christ. You're not too young to use your influence. So like Josiah, yours may not be becoming a king. It may be in your classroom, helping people, standing for people, you know, stopping um, things that you know are, not wrong, are, are wrong. I mean, stopping them, insisting that you see the right things of God prevail and just have full full <laughs> and to, I'm, I'm lost for words but you know what i mean is standing for light standing as a light standing to shine don't don't hide because you like josiah can make a difference for the lord and god is counting on you so be a light thank you for joining today's children's service and we'll see you next time bye bye hello friends how you doing how's your weekend going yeah you know what time it is again exactly it's squeeze time so let's get straight right into it first question how old was josiah when he became king how old was josiah when he became king a six B nine C seven D eight And if you answered C then you are correct. Josiah was seven when he became king. Next question Who was King Josiah's father? Who was King Josiah's father? Manasseh, Amon, Jehoahaz, or Jehoiakim? Who was Josiah's father? And if you answered B, then you are correct. Josiah's father was Amon. Next question. What did King Josiah have destroyed? What did King Josiah have destroyed? A. Altars of Baal B. Asherah poles C. Incense altars D. All of this And if you answered C. Incense altars And if you answered D. Rather if you answer D, then you are correct. The answer is all of above, all of this. King Josiah had all of those destroyed. Next question. What did King Josiah do to the bones of the priests who worshipped false gods? What did King Josiah do to the bones of the prince, priests who worshipped false gods? A. He threw them into the sea. B. He buried them. C. 
he burned them. D. He smashed them. And if you answered C, then you are correct. Yes, King Josiah burned them. Next question. How old was Josiah when he began repairing the temple? How old was Josiah when he began repairing the temple? A. 26 B. 28 C. 24 D. 30 And if you answered A, then you are correct. Josiah was 26 when he began repairing the temple. Next question. What materials were purchased for repairs during the restoration of the temple? What materials were purchased for repairs during the restoration of the temple? A. Wood and bronze. B. Dressed stone and timber. C. Gold and silver. D. Carved stone and gold. And if you answered B, then you are correct. The answer is dressed stone and timber. Next question. Who found the book of the law? Who found the book of the law? A. Azaliah. B. Joah. C. Hilkiah. D. Safan. And if you answered C, then you are correct. The answer is C. Hilkiah. Next question. Number eight. Who read the book of the law to King Josiah? Who read the book of the law to King Josiah? A. Hilkiah. B. Safan. C. Ahikam. D. Asiah. And if you answered B, then you are correct. The answer is B, Safan. Next question. What did Josiah do when he heard the word of the law? What did Josiah do when he heard the word of the law? A, he tore his robes. B, he prayed. C, he wept. D, he sat in shock. And if you answered A, then you are correct. Josiah tore his robes. And the last question, number 10. To whom did Hilkiah go to inquire of the Lord? To whom did Hilkiah go to inquire of the Lord? A. Hashra. B. Hadassah. C. Huda. D. Hezekiah. And if you answered C, then you are correct. Huda is the answer. Don't worry if you didn't get much of them right this time around. Don't worry. You can still read the passage after now because we have home quiz for you. And you know we're getting back into church very soon. So the winners of the home quiz will get prizes. Yeah, I love the sound of that. So you could check the passage and read it again to know the right answers for the quiz so let's get straight right into it first question king josiah celebrated the passover true or false king josiah celebrated the passover true or false next question who was josiah fighting against when he was critically injured which led to his death who was josiah fighting against a King Artaxerxes, King Artaxerxes, B. King Nebuchadnezzar, C. King Neko, D. King Cyrus. Next question. What weapon killed Josiah? What weapon killed Josiah? An arrow, a javelin, C. A sword, D. An axe. Next question. What was the name of the man who composed laments for Josiah? What was the name of the man who composed laments for Josiah? Abijah, A, B, Joash, C, Jeremiah, D, Jehoram. And the last question for the home quiz. 
What was the name of Josiah's son who succeeded him as king? Jehoiakim. A. B. Jehoahaz. C. Jehoachin. D. Zedekiah. Yeah, I know those names are really tongue twisting, but yeah, you have to learn them when you read the book, read the passage that was given to us. And the book is 2 Kings chapter 22. 2 Kings chapter 22. Make sure you read it and master those names. Don't be like me. So do have a nice day. Nice being with you today. Bye. Have a lovely, 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 lovely time. Just kids zone at Solid Rock Dublin. As always, send your homework in to the church email at kids zone at Solid Rock Dublin. establish my covenant with you. something like you that our father is all knowing that means he knows everything he went he ahead knows everything he knows tomorrow and art like you're so silly like you're, you're so seen out like you're so guess what you know you're just big all of this